I want to say a few words now which are not on the gospel which are rooted for me deeply, deeply in what the gospel has taught me in the course of a long life. We are told in the scriptures that when one member of the body suffers, the whole body is in pain. And in the last hundred years, so much pain has been inflicted, not only on individual bodies, but in vast, vast numbers of people, by cruelty, by injustice, by hatred, by total lack of understanding. And it is particularly frightening, particularly sinister to think that most of these wars and most of these injustices have been perpetrated and are being perpetrated by people who claim to be the disciples of Christ. If one member of the body suffers, the whole body is in pain. And this pain includes Christ who died upon the cross for the victory of love, for the victory of mutual acceptance, for the victory of the truth and of justice. And we shall therefore, after the service, when you will have venerated the cross, pray in Imalevin for justice, peace, love to come to the Balkans without distinction of nationality without distinction of our own preferences that all may be saved all come to the knowledge of the truth and the truth is not simply what we believe in and what so often divides one person from another the truth is God himself living in the hearts, in the minds, in the lives of people. We'll pray that divine grace may come upon the divided people and unite them. But we must also take our own responsibility for what is happening throughout the world. Because as long as there is within our hearts injustice, Envy, hatred, discrimination. We cannot stand before God and say, Lord, all these people are your own. You have created them in an act of love. You have died for all in an act of love. Some have responded, but some are still on their way. And for them, as one of the Father has said, your body is still bare, still the marks of the crucifixion. They will perhaps be healed only when all will come to the knowledge of the truth and learn how to love one another as Christ has loved us. And therefore, when you will pray at the Malibin after the liturgy, pray for the union of all, pray for the forgiveness of all, pray for justice to come and love, divine love, not human sympathies and preferences, but love divine that embraces and saves everyone to triumph. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you, by his grace and love towards mankind, always, now and forever, and world without end.